Hi there, this is John from MySolarHome.us and this video I'm going to be talking about net metering. Um, it's a short video, I'm just going to explain what net metering is and how it works. Net metering is a way by which the power company pays for your power. Now once you go solar, your solar system starts to produce power. This power, um, just like you buy gas, you buy 20 gallons of gas, 10 gallons of gas, you buy power and the unit of power is called kilowatt hours. So, in a year, you know, you could use between 5,000 to 20,000 kilowatt hours of power in your home. Uh, so you buy a solar system, you size your system according to how much you need in terms of power. So let's say you're using 10,000 kilowatt hours a year. You put a solar system up on your roof, which also produces 10,000 10, odd uh, kilowatt hours a year. Now, what happens is that during the daytime, your solar system, the sun shining, it makes a lot more power than you're using in your home. You might be using five or six, maybe 10 kilowatt hours. I'm making figures up right now, but let's say you're using 10 kilowatt hours during the daytime, but your solar panels are making 20 kilowatt hours of power during that time. What happens to that extra power? That extra power goes to the power company. It's connected to the grid. It goes to your power company. Uh, in, in Jersey, Jersey Central Power, and Jersey Central Power, JCPL is a power company, PSCNG, public service, uh, you know, Whoever is your power company, the extra power goes to them. Now it's up to them what they give you. Now most any state in, in the US, almost every state has net metering. And what that means is that when you give the, when the extra power goes to the utility company, they keep track of how much power you've given them. And then they give you back that same amount of power without charging you anything. So if you give them 10 units of power during the day, at night when there is no sun and you need power, you take the power from the utility company and they give you back that power. Let's say you use back seven units of power. When they give you those seven units of power back, they don't charge you anything. What you give them and what you take from them, there is no difference. They don't charge you anything. If you did not have net metering, what the power company could have done is that when they by when you give them power, they give you credit for that power at a much lower rate. So that when you give them 10 units of power, they're only going to give you five units of power back. They say that when I'm buying from you, I buy at half the price, but when I'm selling to you, I'll sell you at twice the price. So in simple terms, whatever you give to the utility company, if you have net metering, they promise to give you back the same amount of power without charging you anything. But if you did not have net metering, then they could possibly say that, okay, you gave me 10 units of power, but I am not going to give you back 10 units of power. I'm going to give you back just three units of power. It's up to the power company. I hear that in Hawaii, they don't have a straightforward net metering. Solar in the US, as far as I'm aware, as far as I'm aware net metering is available everywhere. So it's good to have net metering. So net metering simply means that the power company, when you give them power, they return back exactly the same amount of power to you and they don't charge you any anything extra for it. If you didn't have net metering, they would charge you something for that. I hope you like this video. There are many more videos on my channel. Uh, thanks and have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Do like and subscribe and have a great day.